all of these DeSantis, you know, libertarian populist people that are like, we need to actually have political substance. You know what? No, I don't give a f about that, okay? I don't care about your political substance. <laughs> This guy is America right now. He personifies America. People that are trying to have substance, I don't give a f about your substance, bro. Mocking substance is the most devoid of substance thing you could ever do. There's no way to prove you have less substance than to hear about substance, which is obviously what makes somebody have any sort of meaning or value or worthy content or worthy character or worthy goals or worthy morals in this world. And to say, f that, bro, I'm all about just flash and f the rules, but of course, it's a Trump supporter, so that's not even close to the worst thing he said. Get a load of this. I want a Trump Reich. I want a Trump Reich, and I want Trump's face to be, you know, projected onto every, every single tallest skyscraper in every city around America, okay? You know the saying, two wrongs don't make a right? Well, apparently, millions of idiots make a Reich, because... It really takes a bunch of morons put together to want anyone to be a dictator over them. But it takes a very special group of millions of idiots to want Trump to be that dictator. And even further stupid, to want Trump's very unpleasant face to be projected onto buildings. But go on, I guess. We don't want freedom. We want a total Trumpian right. Okay, that's what we want. We want a total Trumpian right. We don't want freedom. Clearly you don't, because you support somebody who is the exact antithesis of freedom, of democracy, of what the country stands for, um, what the hat you're wearing that says make America great again. The America part of it is a democracy, a government of, by, and for the people, and not one where the people don't have a say because the idiot who's only in it for himself and wants to make rules that only benefit him and his rich buddies and throw everybody else under the bus maybe isn't what America's about at all. So if you'd want to live in a dictatorship, move some other place you complete waste of space but i guess just for the hell of it since i'm a bit of a masochist go on one more time we want dictator trump we want trump to rule forever and ever and make america great again and we want all these people who are acting in bad faith who are traitors to this nation to go to jail that's what we want uh Technology has ruined us. I used to think it was great that everybody has the chance to now have their own voice. And then people like him speak. And you really wish it was just Edward R. Murrow in a news studio smoking and telling us what it is and the only way to interpret it. And obviously I don't want that either, but it seems preferable to just idiots talking about how they want to be ruled by a traitorous moron. But that's the country we are in now and it's so fun to have enjoyed the few moments of freedom we had while it lasted before idiots multiplied and made it very hard for anybody with a brain to be heard above the noise. Because idiots are loud, and smart people are thoughtful, and thoughtful people are quiet, and that's very unfortunate. Thankfully, I have this microphone, this megaphone that I get to occasionally say, if you're very stupid, and or on drugs, and or live in your mother's basement, please shut up. Please stop. Go play a video game. Go not have sex with anybody because nobody's interested in you. You incel, worthless, waste of space. But please just stop posting your thoughts. Please. I'm begging you. I'll be your dictator if you want. And my first order is shut the up forever. Thank you so much. That's what we want. I'm Ben Glebe for Rebel HQ. If you'd like to see me make fun of other idiots, check out my stand-up comedy clips at Ben Glebe on Instagram or Twitter or TikTok, which is controlled by the Chinese. And at this point, does it even matter? No, it does not. Good night and good luck.